Welcome to a look at the new cow system, Beef, on Seasons 19, on console, with me, Mr Sealy P. Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, following on from my kind of guide to chickens on Seasons, my guide to sheep uh, on Seasons, I'm going to be looking at cows, but I'm going to split this into two parts. One, because I don't want it to be too long, which is likely to be anyway, um, but two because we've got uh, meat breeds now and we've got dairy breeds um, which gives us five breeds in total to be looking at to try and do all of those and cover as many aspects of the cows as I can it will get way 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 too confusing trying to do them all at the same time so this first one is going to be the meat breeds we're going to be looking at um, the cows that put on weight I'm on Sussex farm I'm on late spring um, because that's where my cycle ended when I finished my sheep. Now, that may not be the best time to buy them. We're going to have a look in a second at the screen for buying. What I am going to say as well, if you haven't seen the other two videos, the one on chickens and the one on sheep, um, as part of the Seasons mod, there is a water pump that you can place. If you don't already know that, there is a water pump. A lot of people asked me when I did the last two videos, where, where was it? They couldn't find it. It's not a separate mod. In essence, when you download Seasons, it gets put into the store. Um, in the store, if we go in now and we go across to placeables, if we go to the animal pens, that's where you need to look, into animal pens, right to the far end, and the water pump is just there. Now, the water pump will not fill the trough. It's not designed to fill the trough. It's designed as an emergency aid so that your trough will never run out of water. Obviously, you can still run out of feed and your animals can die if they're not fed and watered. So you have to be incredible, incredibly careful with seasons on. Um, so to place the water pump, um, people have been checking out all different ways of doing this. But obviously, you need your water trough and you need to place it as possible, as, as close as possible to the trough if you can. Now, something like that is absolutely fine. Some people have placed them inside the pens by the trough and that seems to be working too. The only thing I have found is if you've got animal pens where the water trough is inside the building, trying to place one of these inside a building, I found here on Sussex Farm, it may not be the same for all maps, is tricky. It doesn't like it. You only need one, you place it like that, and then when you get your animals in there, you will get water in the trough. And it may only be to start off with something like 25 litres. It might go up to around 200 litres in, in there. It depends on how many animals you've got in there. But it will never fill the, the trough completely. So what I'm going to do very quickly is whiz across. And on each of the troughs I've got here for, for what I'm going to be running, I'm just going to put them in. Like I say, they don't have to be... If you go too far in, it will come up red and it won't let you. You can get away with being a little bit further away, but I just found that's kind of where it's been letting me place them, and it worked when I did the sheep, so it just kind of makes sense to to use them. You might as well. Uh, that's step one. There's a lot of stuff to be thinking about here, because part of the Seasons mod, um, for beef cows, the assumption is now already made. Not the assumption, this is what Realismus Modding have said on their website. They are winged calves. You're already buying winged calves at around £650. They're not exactly £650. Um, and then you fatten them up, and it does say on there it's most cost-effective to sell them between twelve hundred and fourteen hundred pounds. So you've got to fatten them up to that point. Uh, now, something else with cows on seasons is they will only produce slurry or manure. They won't do both. I did have a few people commenting saying, "Are you going to be doing a cows review?" Um, I'm running cows, but I don't seem to be getting any slurry. If you put straw bedding in, you will get manure. But if you get manure, you won't get slurry. So I think if you don't give them straw bedding, whereas before on the base game, to get your productivity as high as possible, you needed everything to be put in there. Um, I, th I think, and that's what I'm going to test though on this, if you don't put straw in, that's fine, but you will get slurry instead of manure. So that's something worth bearing in mind as well. So what we're going to do is look at the various different breeds. I'm going to check on this side. Right, so we have got three meat breeds we have got the limousine we've got the sala sala and we've got the brahmins now the brahmins as far as i have seen so far they're just different colors so it really doesn't matter which brahmin you go for 
they all you buy them all the same um, weight they're all the same age they're the same price it doesn't matter which color you get the color will not affect their productive not productivity but it won't affect how much weight they put on <clears throat> and one thing I did find with the sheep excuse me is that um, there still seems to be a lot of unpredictability even when you're doing stuff and you think it should do something a certain way and it probably should do something a certain way it doesn't always and that's the unpredictability of seasons now you've really got to be Johnny on the spot and make sure you're on top of everything so we're going to be looking at the limousine the Salah and the Brahmins yeah, so in this one I'm going to buy um, I think I want to do 20 I've been doing 20 on all the other ones I've done so so I've put 20. I will hit confirm in a minute. Now, the limousine, it says it's a carcass breed. The limousine is an expensive but feed-efficient animal, meaning it will grow very quickly and give a good price at market. Now, I'm going to look at the, the, the um, economy page in a minute because, as I did with the sheep, I'm probably buying at the wrong time. Uh, to get the best economy out of these animals, as you go through cycles, yearly cycles, you're better off buying them when they're at their very, very cheapest and then obviously selling them when they're at their very, very most expensive. Um, I'm just kind of looking at this more in terms of what you need to do, what point you need to get to when you need to sell them. Yes, you will make more money if you buy them cheap, sell them expensive. That's economy. That's how it works. Um, so we've got 20 of those. Confirm that. Now what I am going to do as well is we're going to have a look at the difference between, and I don't think there is any difference because what we've got is a situation with uh, compared to the base game where you're trying to get your productivity as close to 100% as possible. And on the base game, if you just give them grass and hay, uh, I think you only ever get up to about 80 or 90%, I think, something like that. If you give them total mixed ration, you can hit 100% productivity. I don't think that's the case with seasons, but that's something we're going to look at as well. Um, if I now go into my animals menu, and we go across until we get to our animals, our first cattle pasture right there has now got 20 in. Now it says production, manure, slurry and milk. We're not going to get any milk, it's not going to happen. Um, but it does say hay or silage, grass, total mix ration. So as you can see, we bought these limousines, they're at £617 in weight. Um, I'm just looking down my sheet here to make sure that's what I've got written down. They cost me 2423 each. Now bearing in mind as well, these aren't breeding animals, these are meat animals. So I've got 20 in there, I'm going to end with 20. They're going to be bigger, they're going to be heavier, they, sh and they should be worth more when we get to that point. We'll see how that pans out, but it's more about fattening them up, getting them to that point. Now the water pump already says 25 litres in there. Um, cleanliness, we need to keep them clean. I'm going to do one with straw, one without straw, that kind of thing. So we're going to have a look at what we get as production, depending on what we put in. So inputs versus outputs, that's the point. At the moment cleanliness just popped over and it says 100% absolutely fantastic we're also going to look at the difference between the pastures i'm going to do pastures again i'm going to try to we can have a system running where the animals will eat the grass in this pasture if i don't give them any feed they will eat the grass in this pasture that will only work if they've got enough grass in here so if i open up my wopster point it at the ground so my grass is only at 33 percent grown that's not fully grown, which means for this first day, at least, um, I'm going to need to give them some feed because they won't eat the grass in the pasture because there's not technically enough in there for them to actually eat. But if you put them into a pasture where the grass is fully grown or you fully grow it before you put them in there, they will eat the grass in the pasture before, or if you don't put anything else in, um, the trough. So, and it will what it will do is will every well, it did say every 15 minutes, but I haven't found that. I found with the sheep it was every day at around 10 30 in the morning the algorithm would run and it would see what grass was in here. And if there was grass in here, it would put grass in the trough for them to eat. That's just what I found. So, we're going to check that out with cows as well. We're going to see how that pans out. So, what I'm going to do is going to go on across the next one. We're going to put our salads and then we're going to put a load of Brahmins in. The end one is going to be our kind of well, I'm going to going to tweak a few things on the M1 and see what we end up with. So this one, we're going to go with the Salas, 2,153, 606 pounds, we're going to put 20 in this one. Now it does say the Salas is a cheaper option for starting farmers, it's known for their high marbling carcasses that can return a decent investment at market, so let's go for it. Confirm, check my menu, we should have 20 in there, why is it skipped one? I don't understand why it does this, but it doesn't matter. Not the end of the world. Um, now, obviously, with our 
uh, meat breeds, our beef, cattle, they are all male. There are no females in there, they're all male. There's our sailors. Sailors. Okay, so next on, we're going to do some Brahmins, but we're only going to do... To be honest with you, it doesn't make any difference what we go with. Like I say, they're all exactly the same. Let's just go with, I don't know, let's go with white, doesn't matter. Now, it does say the Brahmin is a heat tolerant specific breed with marginal feed requirements. They are known for their grain, their gain potential and good carcass yields. Um, it's going to be interesting to see which one of these breeds gets up to their kind of around 12 to 1400 pounds in weight the quickest. Again, that's going to be part of the process. That's what we're going to look at. And then the M1, I'm going to put some in, but this N1 is going to be slightly different. I'm going to put feed in all of them. But I think I'm going to go with total mixed ration. I'm just going to buy it. I'm not going to make it. But, but making total mixed ration is a completely separate video. That's not something I'm going to show on this. This is just about the animals. I'm going to feed them total mixed ration just to feed up the trough. Fill up the trough. But this end one, I think we're going to go with grass. Or I might go with grass in one of the others. I'm, I haven't quite decided how what I'm going to do with that. This one, though, I'm only going to give them... I'm not going to give them straw. So all the others will have straw in. This one won't. So this will be the one where, the, where we're going to see about the situation with regard to only producing slurry, only producing um, um, manure. So I'm going to go back to the limousines, just roll around that cycle. I'm going to put 20 limousines in here, um, and I'm not going to give them straw. We're going to see what happens productivity-wise, but also with regard to slurry and manure. So confirm that. So now we're going to our menu and all of our pastures are set. So we've got our Brahmins in that one there. They're ready to go. They've got a little bit of water. I need to give them their feed. Um, that one's got our salads in. That one's got our limousines and that's got our limousines. And we've got to be careful because the first limousine one is the very first pasture. The second one that says limousines is this end one. So we seem to have got one either end. I'm not quite sure why it's put in that order. It might be the order I placed them on the ground. It's relevant. But looking at the feed requirements, we can see already the limousines are saying estimated food required for those 20, 115,428 litres per year. Um, the salads are saying 107,842. My Brahmins are saying 99,512. So the Brahmins requiring less feed is what it's saying. So again, that's going to be something to weigh up. It's not a huge amount of difference between them in all honesty, you know. So when you're making, mixing up your feed, if you're doing total mix ration, or you're just doing do hay, silage, grass, whatever. And that's the problem, I say, without running 15, 20 pens, I could run one with just grass, one with just hay or silage, one with just total mixed ration. There are so many different variables. Um, so yeah, it, it's, you know, how do you do it? Now, I'm likely to make mistakes. I'm likely to miss something. That's just the nature of the beast. It's, you know, like I say, there are so many facets to how these work, and that's probably why they're the most complicated. What I'm going to do now is put some feed in the troughs. As I'm doing that, I'm going to decide how I'm going to go about it, which ones I'm going to give which. I'm going to put straw in the first three, but not in the last one. Um, and we'll see well, We'll see the differences. We'll see how it works out. That end trough that I said I'm, I wasn't going to put any grass in and see how the pasture works. This first day, the one thing I found with the sheep, I'm going to put some feed in. Um, simply because there's not enough grass in the trough in the actual pen for them to eat. Now I'm running three day cycles simply because on console it's easier for me to skip through and do three day cycles. If I do sixes, nines, um, it's going to take me forever to skip through the cycles to get to where we're actually getting some kind of production. Um, so you've got to allow for the fact that each day will represent a month. That's kind of how it's going to work. Each day will represent a month of the year. So and when we skip through the night, a month effectively in our year has passed so that's what we're going to be looking at i'm going to crack on with the feed now i'll get back to you in a second when the feed's all in um and then we'll skip through and see where we end up i think that's probably the best bet okay so first three pens they've all got total mixed ration i've also put straw bedding in each of those something else worth bearing in mind if we go into this menu and have a look as far as feed goes unlike on the base game where you can just fill up the trough so if it's saying it needs 113,000 litres for them you could put 113,000 litres of TMR or anything but I haven't got to worry now that's not the case it will only put in a percentage of that depending on how many animals you've got in there um, 
So for example, my first limousine one has only put 10,166. Also with the end limousine one, I put grass in that one. I haven't put TMR in that M1, I've put grass in that M1. Um, that's just to get them through the first day and then hopefully it will take it out of, out of the actual pasture. We'll have a check on that. Um, also, if we look at that first limousine, I've put straw in as well. That end one, is that's kind of my test one the, the, where I'm going to do the comparison. So the end limousine one, the, the fourth one I did, there's no straw and I've done grass. The others I've done total mix ration and straw. But if we look up uh, there to our salads, our salads only took 9,985 litres of total mix ration and our Brahmins took 8,811, so far less feed required. Now the feed with seasons on will only last about two days is what they've allowed. Um, so that's something you've got to bear in mind as well. Now that is spread across the entire year, so depending on how many day seasons you're running you're not going to have to put in 10 times more feed than anybody else if you're running more day seasons the food requirement for the year still remains the same but i think what will happen is when you put the initial amount in there'll be less required for that initial amount but it's still only going to last a couple of days i think is kind of the theory behind how that works um so with that kind of set up now and what we're going to be looking at especially is we're going to be comparing that first and last limousine one we're going to see does grass compared to total mixed ration give you faster growth does it give them better health does it give you anything like that um, and we're also going to look and see whether we're going to get slurry manure either or both you know that kind of thing now it does say over on the far right hand side health is 80 percent i think on all of them oh it's not actually that's interesting health on the end one is saying 76 percent already health and all the others is 80 so maybe we're already seeing a difference because they've got straw and total mixed ration is that going to affect their health unless that's an anomaly but all of the other three are saying 80 percent the one that i have changed and put, only put grass in and no straw is saying 76 so they're automatically starting off at a four percent deficit on their health that's something we have to look at keep an eye on that so what we're going to do now is speed up time. I will see you in early summer. Oh, that was what I was going to do. I was going to have a look at the economy page, wasn't I? Sorry about that. Let's go down to our cows. So our limousines, I mean, to be fair, it's up, but it's not the most expensive. And in all honesty, looking at that, it's not going to be a huge amount of difference in price. It's not like there's a massive dip in there and you've got a really, really, really low point. I mean, to be honest with you, I suppose midsummer is the lowest point, but it's not so low you think, right, I'm definitely buying them there. And there are higher points to where we are now. So potentially, if we look at the sellers, pretty much the same. And the Brahmins, pretty much the same. There's not really a huge dip anywhere down there where if you're looking at this economy page thinking, oh, I've definitely bought them at the wrong time. Not really. There are higher and lower points, but nothing drastic. So nothing to worry about so what i'll do i'm going to skip forward i will see you uh, tomorrow which will be a month will have passed we'll be on early summer and we'll have a look at them all and see where we stand with regard to health and production and weight gain and all that kind of stuff all those kind of lovely things see you in a bit okay i'm on day two which in essence is a month because i'm running three day cycles um and we've already got i've already got some answers to some questions um which is good. It's good that there's I've got an answer to something that I wanted to find out. Um, it does mean that potentially I can change some parameters and we'll see what happens there. Um, I'm cleaning them all out because obviously the cleanliness has dropped on each of them down to about 60%. So let's have a look in our menu. We'll look at our first cow pasture. That was the first slot we put in our limousines. Now based upon what I said about the feed lasting a couple of days, that is bearing out. Total mixed ration in that first trough is down to 5,855 litres already. Straw's already going down, cleanliness is down, so we're going to clean them out. That's not a problem at all. But if we look at our weight gain already, these first limousines in this first one we bought they were 617 pounds in weight <clears throat> they're now 718 pounds in weight their health has gone up from 80 to 85 percent which is fantastic if we skip across that onto the next one we did the salads the salads again have had about half their feed <clears throat> excuse me my throat's driving me mad today uh, we bought the salads at 606 pounds in weight they're now saying 688 so they're putting on weight their health has also gone up from 80 to 85 percent which is fantastic um 
and if we look at the end one uh, or the next one along our brahmins our brahmins we bought at 573 pounds they're now up to 655 pounds again their health has gone up from 80 to 85 percent now each of these had straw in and if we look down at the manure production or we look at the production down the bottom for manure and slurry each of the ones that we put um, straw into we're getting manure so the salas and then the brahmins we're getting manure production now if we go to our test plot the one where things have changed and these have changed dramatically so this is our second lot of limousines this is my test plot at the end now i only gave them grass didn't give them straw if we look down the bottom they're only producing slurry so you're going to get one or the other if you don't give them straw you get slurry if you give them straw you get manure that's one thing ticked off the box we can say okay we know that now that's that's fine brilliant the other scary thing is if we look to the right hand side now these started off four percent less on health i think because i only gave them grass now look as far as weight gain goes compared to the other limousines the other limousines are at 718 pounds and are 85 percent health this pasture that i only gave them grass in their health has deteriorated it's dropped from 76 down to 58 percent that's gone so far the other way the others have all gone up by five percent so giving them grass allowing maybe even just to say look oh they'll just get, have the grass out of the pasture i don't need to give them anything else that's not good so potentially i need to give them hay and silage as well i know if i give them total mixed ration it's going to go up because the others all have gone up but that's a bit worrying also their weight gain is not as dramatic the limousines in the first one 718 pounds these 692 so also only giving them grass they're not gaining weight as fast that's a big change now i'm thinking what i'm going to do is carry on i might put hay and silage in i'm not going to give them total mixed ration i'm going to leave it again no straw so they're just going to be continually producing slurry now that's fine but i'm curious to see how big a gap we're going to get between the limousines in the first pasture with total mix ration and the limousines in this one that i only give grass or maybe hay and silage to so i might go and get some hay now put some hay in their trough um and see what happens i'm going to clean them out i'm going to feed them um, i'm going to skip forward again i will see you in midsummer and we'll see how it's changed again okay we are into another day we are on midsummer so in essence another month has passed and we are continuing to see weight gain um, our end second lot of limousines um, have come up a little bit with their health now i did give them some hay yesterday they've got grass and hay now um, i still haven't given them any total mixed ration but it has gone up a little bit i'm going to put in another test now just because i'm curious about something if we go into this menu and have a look so our first lot of limousines in that first pasture uh, if you remember they started off at 617 pounds they're now up to 823 pounds in weight fantastic um, our sellers started off at 606 pounds they're now at 775 and our brahmins started off at 573 they're now up to 745 so it, the brahmins are actually catching up fairly quickly they were the lightest of all of them when we bought them they, they do seem to be catching up not by a huge amount but you know they do seem to be catching up now here's the thing each of them their health has gone up to 89 so what i'm finding is whatever i'm doing with those first three pastures their health is all going up at a steady increase all at the same rate so our first lot of limousines our sellers and our brahmins are all sitting at 89 percent health that second lot of limousines have now gone from 58% up to 61 so they've stopped declining they are increasing in health a little bit possibly because I put the hay in I'm not 100% certain but because I changed so many parameters in there and that's the thing with doing a test you should really only change one parameter at a time so you can keep a track on it and I did change quite a few things there's no straw in there I only gave them grass and you know so I did change quite a few things so what I'm curious about now is with the first three pastures if I in one of those pastures and i think i might go with the brahmins for no particular reason just thought i would um when their straw runs out i'm not going to replace it 
to see if the straw is having an impact on health as well. I'm not going to replace it. What it will do, it will switch the production from manure to slurry, which is fine. But what I'm curious to see is, if you decide to do that as an option, if you think, I've got so much manure on hand now, I want slurry, if I stop giving them straw and I then start getting slurry, is that going to have a negative impact on their health? So what I'm going to do is when they run out, the Brahmins, I'm not going to give them any more straw. And we'll see if their health continues to increase at the same rate as the other ones, or whether that will start to dip off. Will that make a difference? Because obviously what we're trying to do is we're trying to get maximum health as quickly as possible with best growth. Now also what we're finding with that second lot of limousines, the first lot of limousines are at 823 pounds in weight, the second lot are only at 764. They're all bought at the same time. But that difference in feed, total mixed ration to grass and then now grass and hay, is having an impact on their weight gain. So when people are saying it doesn't make any difference whether you give them total mixed ration, doesn't make any difference whether you give them hay or grass, quite clearly it does. It's making a difference. The weight gain is far more pronounced when they've got total mixed ration. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do, feed them again. Um, I've just cleaned them all out. I'm going to feed them all. So I'll see you again. It'll be late summer. See what weight game they've, they've put on. And uh, we'll see what happens with these Brahmins. Like I say, they're down to half their amount of straw now. I'm not going to top their straw up. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to do the others. But I'm not going to do theirs. Just to see if that switch over from producing manure to producing slurry has a negative effect on health. I'm just incredibly curious about that. So, see you again tomorrow. Righty ho, we are on late summer. Three months have passed since we started this process. Let's have a look where we stand with regard to our animals. So, our first pasture of limousines, they are now up to £930 in weight. Health is at 92%, which is fantastic. Um, they started off at 617 and yesterday, a month ago, they were 823, they're now 930. So they're really putting on weight fast. Um, the next of the lot, the Salas, uh, yesterday they were at 775, they're now 867, their health also at 92%. So that continual increase, the health staying the same with our first ones, um, seems to be holding true. That second test I threw in with regard to straw, <coughs> this is where we're going to see something interesting. So we got to our Brahmins. Our Brahmins have put on weight, they were um, 745, they're now 841, which is great, but look at their health. Now that could be an anomaly, we're going to check that for another day. Their straw ran out, I didn't put any more straw in theirs. They've now switched from producing manure to producing slurry. But their health is now sitting at 91%, not 92 They've been going up exactly the same as all the, for the first ones I put in, have stayed exactly the same health-wise. So is it possible at this point now to say that because I took their straw away, they're now producing slurry, but their health is suffering as, an, as a, uh, a result, a consequence of that. I'm going to go another day. We'll see if the other's health goes up even more and there is, if the gap increases. Because up until now, it's been exactly the same as the other two that I put in. So that's interesting. All of these things are having an impact. You know, you think, well, it doesn't matter now. Straw will either give you manure. If you don't have it, you'll get slurry instead. But it does seem to be having a negative impact on their health if they don't have straw. So it does also tell us that last pasture, the limousines, because they haven't had straw right from the outset, that could be another factor as to why their health decreased so rapidly at the start. They only had grass, they had no straw, they had no decent feed. Um, their health has come up a little bit further, they're up to 64% now, but they are way behind the others. In comparison to the other limousines, which are at 930 pounds in weight, they're only at 839. So they're significantly under what their counterparts are. Their, um, well not counterparts, their um, brethren, let's put it that way. The, the similar animals of their breed. Um, so is it too early to sell? Possibly, they're all putting on weight, we're doing fine. Um, I am curious about this straw situation. So we're gonna feed them. I'm going to go through another day. The Brahmins, I'm not going to give straw to again. I'm going to leave them. We're aiming for about the £1,200 mark is where it says on the Realismus website they are most cost-effective, where it's the best point to sell them. 
£1,400 being the kind of top end potentially. Um, so what we'll do is we'll have a look at them at £1,200 uh, £1, in weight, then we'll have a look at them at £1,400 and see if there's much of a difference. Because if there's not, you're better off selling them quick and getting a whole nother lot in rather than hanging on to them. If the difference is big, if if you keep holding them until they hit about 1400 and the price difference is significant, then you're better off holding on to them. Okay, day four. Four months in, early autumn. I'm just about to feed them. I've just cleaned them all out. Let's have a quick look. So, our first pasture of limousines. They're up to £1,036. We're heading towards that magic £1,200 to £1,400 mark. Don't know how long it's going to take us to get there, but... We're heading that way. Manure production is fine, but or something else to point out at this point. The estimated food required has rocketed for all of the animals. As they put weight on, they require more feed. So whereas we started off at like 117,000 litres for the year, it's now saying 152,000 litres because they've put weight on, they require more feed. Uh, if we go up to our salas, they're up to 960 pounds. They were 867. Um... So, you yeah, know, they're all putting weight on, they're all doing okay. Now, looking at our first lot of limousines and our salas, their health is at 94%. If we go up one to our Brahmins, where I took the straw away, it, well, I took it away, it ran out and I didn't replace it, their health has stopped at 91 So the other two went from 92 to 94%. They've stayed at 91 The straw is having a negative impact um on their health and if the health is suffering then their growth will suffer um so taking the straw away or not giving them straw is going to have a negative impact on their health that i can clearly see now that wasn't just a blip before 92 percent 91 percent you think okay well it could be a 94 to 91 the other two have gone up another two percent that one not at all we come to our last lot the limousines which were kind of our test plot right right from the outset um they're lagging way behind at 65 percent they're just they've got no straw which is we now know is having a negative impact they're only getting hay and grass which seems to be having a negative impact they're not getting total mixed ration they're not getting straw um so if you think of our first lot of limousines they were all bought at the same time 20 of each um, but weight wise they're way behind and health massive difference 94% to 65% so what am I finding from this total mixed ration is almost a must really you know you can get away with it they will grow they will survive by having just grass or grass and hay or you know a combination but they need total mixed ration and realistically unless you desperately want slurry um, they need straw to stay healthy and to keep that health increasing at a good rate and for them to put weight on it at a good rate they need straw that's something i'm finding you know, from doing this um so i'm going to go my next run round. i'm going to uh, feed them i'm going to uh, give them straw in the first two i'm not going to give any straw to the, the brahmins again and then uh, we'll see we are in mid-autumn okay we are in mid-autumn five months have now passed and where do we stand well our first lot of limousines are up to £1,140 in weight, 96% health, which is fantastic. Manure production continues. Estimated food required has gone up again as well. I've just cleaned them all out. The cleanliness will adjust itself. Not a problem at all. Uh, if we go to our salas, they're up to £1,055 in weight. Again, 96% health um, and food required has gone up. They're still producing their manure. Um, our Brahmins, where we haven't given them any straw for a while, their weight has gone up, 1,037, but the health has not moved. In two months, the health has sat at 91%. Hasn't gone anywhere. Um, the first lot of limousines and the Salas up to 96, 91. That straw has made a huge difference. So what I'm going to do on this cycle, I'm going to put straw back in and see whether the health goes up on the next cycle. Um, it should do. If, if straw is that difference and that's the only thing I changed between those three breeds they were all going up at exactly the same rate health wise the only thing I took away was straw and that has really stunted the Brahmin's health it hasn't gone anything above 91% uh, if we go to our second lot of limousines which is our test plot again they've got no straw whatsoever they're only having hay and grass still no total mixed ration 
they're at 67% health. It's just not going up particularly quickly. Um, and their weight is at 985. Compare that to the other limousines, which are at 1,140. There's a big difference between the two. Um, so there we go. That's where we are at the moment. I'm going to feed them. I'm going to put straw back into the Brahmins and see what happens on the next row, roll around. I will see you in late autumn. We'll be up to six months gone by. Um, and we should be almost in that window. The selling window, potentially. We'll see where we go. Okay, we are six months in. It's late autumn. Um, as far as weights go, uh, our first limousines, the first ones that went in, they're at £1,239 in weight. They're still saying young. Um, and like I say, the website does say between £1,200 and £1,400 is the best time to sell. Um, the health is up to 97%, which is absolutely fantastic. If we go to our sellers, they're up to £1,148. 11, uh, not quite the 1200 mark yet, but again, health at uh, 97%. If we go up to our Brahmins, our Brahmins' health has gone up. I put straw back in. They've had straw back in. It's gone up 2%. The straw is having an impact, definitely. They're up to £1,137 in weight. Our limousines that were sort of neglected of straw and total mixed ration are at 1055 Again, they're not quite there. Their health is only at 67%, quite a bit lower than the others. Um, but what I'm going to do is have a look at the first lot of limousines because they're within that bracket, that window for selling. So let's have a look and see what they're worth now. Um, so our limousines over to the right, the ones we've got actually in, in our farm, 1.1 year old because the limousines are younger when you buy them. They're only at 0.6 years old, whereas the Salas and the Brahmas are at 0.8, so they're a little bit younger anyway. They're now worth 3740 per animal. Uh, we bought them for, what are we getting them for? 2000 something was it 2423 so they've gone up about 1200 in value at six months old um we i'm going to keep going until we get up to around the 1400 pound because i'm curious to see whether that price is going to go up even more up around 1400 pounds in weight or whether or not it's going to stay around this 1200 pound per animal that's not too bad. On 20 animals, it's not a massive amount of profit for the amount of... I say the amount of work. It's not a huge amount of work you have to put in. Um, but that said, if we can make more money out of them, we'll try and do that. The more animals you have, the more money you're going to make. That kind of makes sense that way. Um, so, we're going to come back out. I'm going to feed them again. We're going to skip through again. These ones, I reckon, are going to be up around the £1,400 mark in another... by by early winter so one thing we need, do need to be aware of at this point though is when we hit early winter and midwinter the grass is going to die off especially if the temperature plummets and if we get snow so we are definitely going to have to give um grass to the end pasture i haven't touched their grass in the end pasture that just keeps replenishing from inside their pasture but i have been giving them hay those limousines at the end just to try and get the health back up a little bit i think what i might do on this rotation they're at 67% health, I said, didn't I? 67. What I might do is give them total mixed ration and straw and see if it does a big jump up in health. Just Again, just curiosity, just to see, you know, because then they'll have everything. They'll have a bit of grass, they'll have a bit of hay, they'll have total mixed ration and straw and water and see if they have a bit of a jump up from 67%. I'm, again, just curiosity then hopefully our salas and our brahmins will be within that 1200 pound bracket potentially we'll see what they're worth uh, then we're heading towards that point of which ones have given us the most increase in value um, at the moment the limousines i'll be honest they've grown the quickest um so yeah seem all right to me 97 percent health everything's looking good so skip ahead i will see you in early winter it's early winter we are seven months in and we have more developments um let's have a look so our first lot of limousines are now another month on health is up to 98 percent they now weigh 1332 pounds um their value has also gone up they're now worth 3952 a month ago they were worth 3740 so they have gone up in value we're heading towards that 1400 pound mark i do want to see if they go past 1400 pounds whether the value the price starts to drop a bit that's we're going to check that uh if we go up and have a look at our salas 
Our silos are at 1,239 pounds in weight. Um, I've just checked them. Actually, let's go and check them again. Where are we? We're over here. Um, and they were worth 3,504 each. So 3,504. So you've got to say weight for weight. The limousines last month were £1,239 for £3,740. These Salas are now weighing £1,239, same weight as the other ones a month ago, and they're worth £3,504. But we paid less for them, £2,153. So they're worth about £1,400 more than when we bought them. The limousines were only worth about £1,200 more than when we bought them for the same weight. So weight for weight, the Salas are actually worth a bit more which is pretty good the brahmins i think are even better looking at this yeah i think they're about 1500 a pop so if we look at this they're now worth 3610 they're at 1240 pounds again similar weight 1239 1240 they're worth 3610 each but we only bought these for 2174 so they're worth about 1500 pounds more each than when we first got them so weight for weight at the moment, the Brahmins are worth the most. We've made more profit on the Brahmins, as it stands at the moment. Um, if we go another month on, the Brahmins will be knocking on around that kind of £1,400 mark again. We'll see how we are. Now, here's the other interesting thing, and this is a big change. Um, this last pen, I decided, you know what, let's give them everything, because, you know, they they weren't improving particularly well. So, let's have a look. If we go to that second lot of limousines, they were at 67%. All the others have been going up with, with the food they've had and straw they've had, about 2% each month. These have jumped 10% health. I gave them straw, I gave them total mixed ration, which they hadn't had before, and they've leapt from 67% to 77% health. They're at £1,125 in weight as well. Which means now I can say absolutely with certainty the straw and total mix ration is making a huge impact on their health. Massive. Um, it's entirely up to you what you feed yours. Of course it is. If you want them to be as healthy as they can be, as quickly as they can be, and put on weight as fast as they can do, you need to give them the best of everything. Um, straw included. That's what I'm finding. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump ahead another month. Uh, right, midwinter. We are eight months into our cycle. Um, where do we stand? Well, our first limousines are up to £1,417 in weight. So they've gone above the £1,400. So between that, between that 12 and 1400 where they suggest is the best point to sell, they've just gone above that. They're at 98% health. We'll have a look at the price in a second. Uh, the Salas have just got up to £1,326 in weight, so they're right in that, it's kind of midway in that window. Um, our Brahmins are catching up with health again now that we put straw back in. They're only 2% off, so they're going to be right up there again in no time at all, so straw has made a difference. They're at £1,336 in weight. And our limousines that were in the end pasture, the test pasture, they're at £1,195 in weight, but their health has jumped up to 83%. So they've gone from 67 to 77 to 83 percent by adding in straw and total mix ration so it has made a big difference as far as pricing goes our brahmins at the end here they're now worth 3679 in the last cycle they were worth 3610 so they've gone up 69 pounds euros or dollars in a month not a huge amount our salas they were worth what were they worth let's have just check on my sheet the salas were worth 3504 on the last check they're now worth 3556 so they've only gone up 52 is that right yeah 52 pounds euros or dollars so by putting on that extra weight and putting them right in the middle of that well on the upper end actually to be fair of that 1200 to 1400 pound weight they've only gone up 52 in value which isn't a huge jump up and if we look at our limousines you know they're a month ahead because they seem to grow very very quickly so they've gone over the 1400 pound weight now 
These are at £1,417 in weight. They're now worth £3,978. In the last check, they were worth £3,952. So they've only gone up a little bit. They have gone over the £1,400, and they're still worth more than they were last month. I'm, to be honest with you, the way I'm looking at the moment, limousines get there quicker, provided you give them everything they need. They seem to be... Well, what we've got to do is offset the initial cost and the... Um, and I'm not factoring in the transportation cost at the moment. I'm literally just looking at the value of the animal. Um, I'm just thinking. They're all going to be roughly about the same. There's no one breed that's going to be ridiculously you know, worth more at the top end. Um, so what I'm going to do is go forward again. Because I, I want to see if these the value of these starts to drop off as they go way beyond that £1,400 in weight, or whether it's going to stay pretty much the same. That way you know you've got a bit of leeway. If you go a month over, or you make a mistake, or you, you go forward and you don't think about it, it's not going to suddenly drop off so catastrophically that they're not worth anything. So that's what I want to check on next. We'll see where we go. They're all ticking along, they're all making money, they're all fattening up. I'm going to feed them again. See you in late winter. Right then, nine months in late winter. Where are we at? Well, our limousines, the first ones are at £1,493 in weight. Health is still sitting at 98%. Um, fantastic. Hang on. Our Salas are up to 1408 So they've all gone beyond the £1,400 mark now. Um, in Sorry, in weight that is. And our Brahmins are up to £1,417 in weight. So they've gone beyond that £1,200 to £1,400 mark in weight. Is the value coming down again now? Well, we're going to check that in a second. Um, the actual health for the Brahmins, where I stopped their straw for a cycle, they're now almost back up to where they were with, with the others. The others are at 98%, they're at 97 And then my limousines, where I put everything back in, they're up to 88%. So they've jumped up from 83% in the last cycle, up to 88% now. They're catching up very, very quickly with the health. Um, and they're at £1,261 in weight. So everything's looking good. Um, I'm going to keep pushing forward. Um, as far as price goes, the limousines, bearing in mind they've gone beyond the £1,400 mark, which they did in the last cycle, they're at £1,493 in weight now. They're now worth £4,174. Last cycle, they were worth £3,978. So they've gone up a fair bit. Uh, so, if they go up again in price, we're going to be looking at almost double what we paid for them. We paid 2423 so we need to get up to about 4800 4900 and we'll have doubled our money on the limousines. That's assuming, of course, they don't start to drop in price again now, but we're not far off that. Doubling your price, doubling your money on your, on your cattle... That's pretty good. Like I say, we're nine months in, so it's that case of holding your nerve. How long do you hold your nerve for before the price starts to drop again and you start having problems? So, skip through again, and uh, we'll see where we are in early spring. We'll be on month 10. Uh, I mean, that's 10 days, but obviously because each day, because I'm on a three-day cycle, equates to a month. So, yeah, we'll be 10 months in, and we'll see if they've put weight, well, they should have put weight on again, but is that weight gain beyond £1,500 in weight, say, is that going to have a negative effect on price? Again, we will see. OK, 10 months on. We're in early spring. Snow is clearing. Um, we're at that kind of trade-off point now where what you've got to weigh up is what you're feeding them every day, what you're providing them, Unless you've produced it yourself and it's, you know, you're, they, again, there's that trade-off of crops for feed and, you know, doing total mixed ration, that kind of thing. What you're going to make per animal as they go up in value, are you going to make enough that covers what you're feeding them? You know, that that's kind of where we're at, really. Because if we look at it, because of the weight they are now, what they require each year has gone up dramatically which also means what's in each of the troughs has gone up when i first fed these animals and they were at their youngest and their lightest i only put just over about 10,000 liters of feed in we're now at a point where to feed to fill the trough takes 24,000 liters for the limousines 
and what they require every year has gone right up. But they have gone up in value again. They're up to £1,557 in weight. So they've gone way above the £1,400 kind of roughly best price scenario. Um, our Salas have gone up to £1,483 in weight. Health is at 99% as well, though. We're not far off that magic 100% health thing. Um, our Brahmins are catching up there at 98% health, but they're at £1,476 in weight. Um, and our limousines that were our test plot, which have now been given everything to help catch up, they're at 91% health, they're catching back up with health, and they're at £1,320 in weight. As far as value goes, um, the limousines, the first lot, have gone up in value again, they're at 4450 each. Um, so the price is still increasing, it hasn't gone down, it's not increasing massively, it's not a huge leap up, but it has gone up. So we will make more money on them that's absolutely fine we haven't reached that point where this the value is starting to drop again but like i say it's that trade-off what you're feeding them every day and the care are you gaining enough in value uh the salas are up to 4060 and we paid what did we pay for them 2153 last cycle they were worth 3767 they're now worth 4060 for each animal so we're going to make good money is any one of these breeds head and shoulders above the others not really they're about the same um the brahmins are worth 4142 and we paid 1271 no we didn't we paid 1000 2174 um so we're we're knocking on with all three breeds doubling their value thereabouts not quite double their value but not far off is any one of them head and shoulders above no um the limousines get there quicker they were a month ahead so they reach those those kind of target weights and prices a month ahead of the other breeds but that's really the only difference i mean it's not like i say if it was the limousines were worth six grand now and the others are worth just over four grand each, you'd be saying, it's definitely the limousines. Or the Brahmins, or the others. If any one of them was head and shoulders above the others, you could argue the case for any particular breed, but I'm not finding it. I'm not finding their consumption of feed is so much greater or less than any of the other breed that any one stands head and shoulders above the others. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, the, sort of, uh, the, uh, a conclusion to draw is, it doesn't really matter which ones you go with. The limousines fatten up quicker, they grow quicker, they get there quicker, but only by a month. I mean, not really a huge amount. So I'm going to skip forward now, and I'm going to skip forward until I reach a point they start to lose value. So it may be a month ahead, it could be a couple of months. I'm going to go forward until they start to lose value. And then we kind of know what, what leeway we've got, what maximum price we're going to be at. Um... That will fluctuate depending on what geo you're running. It will fluctuate depending on what time of year you bought them. There are a lot of factors that will affect... You may not get exactly what I'm getting for mine. It may depend on the map. It may depend... You know, there's all sorts of factors that will come into play there. But this is just to give you a rough guide as to how much leeway have you got. It's not like those chickens. It's not like the chickens where they hit maturity. They're at their fattest. If you go another day past, they die off. The cows aren't doing that. Or the meat cows aren't doing that. So, uh... Yeah, see you in a bit. Right then, we are 12 months in. We're at late spring. Um, this is where we stand, and this is where I'm calling it. At 12 months on, all of them have either stopped price-wise. In two cases, the price has gone down. So at 11 months, my advice would be 11 months. If you want to keep going with them to get the most profit you can, 11 months is where you want to hit it if it's in days you still want to equate that into whatever months you're at that's what i would do um that's where you're going to get the, the most profit there is that trade-off between about nine months and 11 months though how much more profit you're going to make compared to how much feed you're giving them now here's the flip side of that well not flip side but what you can do when you first start buying them every game day that you play depending on what you're set on whether you're on three six nine twelve whatever every game day buy some more if you can afford to just start off on five 
next game day buy another five next game day buy another five when they then reach that point where they're at their most valuable every game day that then follows you can sell another five another five another five so every day you'll make money on selling your cows if you do what i've done here as just part of a test and buy one big lump of cows 50 60 80 100 200 and then you have to wait an entire year or 10 months or whatever it is until you can sell them you then buy another hundred and you've got to wait another however many months so because these are meat animals and because they build up their value over the months you might be better off doing that buy a few next day buy a few but next day buy a few and then once you start that rolling cycle every game day you play you'll have animals ready to sell and you'll make money on them that's kind of the best way of doing it as far as profit goes um the limousines peaked at 4661 per animal at 11 months so in mid-spring they peaked they've just dropped down now and they're only worth uh, 4598 so they've taken a bit of a hit so profit on those at the maximum was 2238 per animal that's pretty good that's not factoring in transport costs I'm, I'm not doing it for buying them or selling them at the moment that's literally just for the animals buying and selling um, as far as the salas go um, they are they've kind of ground to a halt they haven't dropped below the 11 months they were at 4306 this month 12 month 12 they're at 4309 so they've only gone up three um, in value again probably around 11 12 months is probably going to be the best time to sell them i reckon um you may find things slightly different when you run them but that's what i've found total profit 2156 per animal uh, and then we move on to the brahmins the brahmins have taken a bit of a hit at 11 months they were worth 4280 each this month month 12 that's dropped to 4194 so that's dipped a fair bit um at their peak they will i profit you would make per animal was 2106 so as i said earlier on calling it as which breed would be the best there's not a huge amount in it feed wise there's not a huge amount in it um manure produced not a huge amount in it i mean there is a difference but not massively you know i wouldn't say well you'll take a bit of a hit on the price on these but you'll get 10 times more manure i haven't found that's the case um looking at the total profits 2238 2156 2106 none of them are significantly higher than the other to say you're better off doing this particular breed you can do any of them and you're going to make money um like i say selling them at about 11 months 12 months you may be pushing it a little bit um, 11 months is where I found they peaked pretty much um, weight wise now like it does say like I said earlier um, it does say sheep and cows will live till they're 10 years old before dying the problem is you keep these any longer than 12 months they may well live to 10 years old but the value is just going to continually drop there's, there's no point at that point to keep them any longer um, and that's where we stand so like I say they're still saying young none of them are into mature but the value is dipping I'm, i can't see a lot of point in continuing on as far as manure goes we're looking at 131,000 litres uh that one we split didn't we 123,000 litres that one was split as well again nothing significant that's going to stand out and say this is the breed for you you can pick any of them if you want um and you're going to make some money which isn't too bad at all um and that's it I haven't had any dye which is good you need to keep feeding them these water tro uh, water pumps are absolutely fantastic i haven't had to touch the water once i'm sure i've missed something if i have i do apologize but that's what i have find found i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching